The first thing we are going to do is to change the labels on each staff. To do this, simply locate your score structure panel and find the label tab. Now here you can see that we have no label tab in the score structure panel. Go to the drop down menu in the top left corner of the score structure panel and find staff attributes to show this feature. So find your label tab and here in the main staff label box type manual 2. And make sure that it's on this system only and then press change staff label and you can see that the staff label changes immediately. I will now do this for all of the other staff labels. When changing staff labels, there are two ways to select which staff you are actually changing the label for. And the first is with the staff ID button, which is to the right of the staff label entry boxes. And so you can actually move that arrow around to select which staff ID you're changing. You can also use the cursor to select the staff and then simply add the label wherever you're moving the cursor. Now that we have all of our full staff labels added, we need to add the abbreviated staff labels to the subsequent systems. So now to create a second page in our score, we will go up again to the toolbar at the top of the document and find the page controls and simply advance to create a new page. And now we have a second page. You can see that the labels on this system actually reflect the labels that were created when we created the document and not the ones that we just changed. So to change all of these to the abbreviated titles, simply repeat the process, but also select the All Subsequent Systems button so that every system after this will contain the same labels. So now we have all of our abbreviated titles and these should appear on every subsequent system. But wait, we actually only have two pages, so two systems. So let's advance one more page to see what happens. As we can see, the staff labels did not carry over to the page that did not exist yet. And instead, this newly created page still contains the original staff labels. We will need to create a few pages in advance and then go back and change the staff labels for all subsequent systems so that we can see these reflected abbreviated staff labels on every page. There are a couple things we need to do before we can begin to enter notes into this score. We need to first change the spacing between the staves. So to do this, go to the tools menu and select the staff spacing tool. Now a window pops up in which you can see the spacing between all of the staves. To load the spacing on this page, simply click the load spacing button and you can see how much spacing we have already. Now the first thing I'm going to do is increase all of the spacing between each staff to 9 and then click the set spacing button to see this reflected on the page. And now you can see there's a lot more space between each of these staves. However, I would also like to increase the space between pedal and manual 2 of the second organ so that it's much more clear that they're two separate instruments. So I will go in and between staff ID 3 and 4, I will actually increase this to 13. And then I will set my spacing. And you can see there's a lot more space, but I think I actually still need a little bit more. So I'll change that quickly to 15 and then that should be enough. Perfect. The final step we need to take with the layout before we can proceed with the note entry is to break the bar line between the pedal and the first manual in both organs. So to do this, go back into the score structure panel and find the bar lines tab. And here you are, you are presented with several options to change the bar lines in the score. In this case, what we need to do is to break the bar line from one staff to the staff above it from the first measure until the end of the score. So first we will select to end of score so that this change is reflected until the end of the score. And then we will select break staff from above. And you will see that now the bar lines are broken from the staff above. And we will also do this in the second organ. And now we have a layout that we can actually work with.